Hi guys, welcome back to Molly Image. Today I have another thrift haul for you. I went to the Salvation Army. I didn't get a lot of footage. I'm not sure how many of you guys are really interested in the come thrift with me portion, but I do have a little clip. I also have a few things that I picked up. So first I'll show you some of the things that I've been picking up and then I'll show you my haul. I'll start with the things that I got on Ulta. I wanted to try some of the e.l.f. products and it is the Camo CC. I got this in the medium 330 warm, which I'm wearing. I really like the color of this. I'm not sure how long it wears. Then I also got the mascara. I really like the mascara. I'm wearing that today as well. I got the putty bronzer. I've heard so much about the putty bronzer. It's very light for me, even though this I think is like the darkest um, shade, I think is what I got. Is there it's golden so i'm this is a golden days it's a bit um also like neutrally cool tone where i prefer a warm tone so i have it on but i also have the wet and wild like bronzer on top so that's what i'm wearing i got a concealer but it was a bit too dark that's probably more of a like natural summer concealer so i've i didn't wear that today I'm, i just put the shape tape on today so that's the first thing I got, some e.l.f. products. I wanted to try some e.l.f. products, so I went on Ulta and got these. So Sephora has their annual sale. So um, I've been on trying to stock up on some skincare that I've always wanted to try, which is during this time, I want to make sure that I have enough to last me until like the spring. I don't want to think about skincare after this point. Um, so I have a few things that I wanted to that was has been on my list to try so i picked them up in the sale one thing i didn't get in the sale was this perfume and it's the it's the alien by moogler i'm not sure if i showed you this before but they the price of just the one ounce i think it says one ounce yeah so the price of just the one ounce is 80 and they had a special package for the set for 80 so of course i bought the set <laughs> but i really love the scent of this um and i just love that i have this little travel size as well oh, i just love the scent of this so i definitely recommend the alien even i'm not sure if the set is still available but i definitely recommend the scent um it's a nice deep moody floral which it's a little sweet but not overly sweet so I really, I really like this. If your type of fragrance is like the La Vie La Belle from Lancome, I think you'd like this. I always wanted to try the Amora Pacific and they had this little trial size um, for this green tea. It also comes with the treatment enzyme peel cleansing powder. I currently am using the Tatcha Harper like rice um, cleansing, cleansing powder to soap foaming thing <laughs> I don't know I forgot what the full name of it is but I wanted to try this so it's in a cute little um, trial size this is like $68 so the this bottle is usually over $200 I wanted to make sure I you know liked it see the difference um, and it's like an essence as well so this is one essence that I wanted to try. The other one, of course, everyone I think knows by now is the SK2. Now this is the 75 millimeter for $99. However, they also had like a little gift pack with the um, facial treatment clear lotion in addition to the 75 millimeter bottle. So I'll be able to try both of these and they even included a little face mask. So. I'll be able to get the full experience for the same price as just this bottle. So whenever I go on to Sephora, I always look out for these little bundle deals. <laughs> so I get a little, little more bang for my buck. So those I was really interested in trying in terms of my essence game. I really wanted to see what difference it's gonna make to you know the hydration level and the clarity of my skin. So that's why I picked these up. Um, a Clinique package that they have, a Christmas Clinique package. I'm such a sucker. That one has the eye cream and the moisturizer. I forgot what the names of those are, but it also has like the cleansing balm and the eye makeup remover. I already have the full size cleansing balm, but those will just go in like backup. I really wanted the eye cream and the face cream, which is a full size 
face cream in the package. So I wanted to try those as well. So I have some essence, I have some eye cream, I have some face moisturizer, and uh, oh, I have one more that I got. So I'd mentioned that I'm using currently the Tatcha Harper, like the rice, um, it has a grip thing in it. What do you call that? Like the buffing, I have no words today, anyhow. So I, because that has the grains at night, because I use um, a retinol or a retinade, I didn't want to like be buffing my skin before I put in my retinol product on. So I got the Tatcha Harper Deep Cleanse. And so this, I think I wanted to use at night. So there's no like exfoliating. Ah. Oh. There's the word. <laughs> so I'm not exfoliating before I use my retinol product. So I got this as well. So that's from Tatcha Harper. And the final thing I got from Biosance, they have some package deals. I'm looking for all the package deals. I want to um, experience quite a few of the products. And this one, you see they have it here. Um, I'm not sure if you can see. It's like a $59 value, but it was originally $100. And $21 so they're having these 50% off like packages of some of their popular products the one I got was a squalane plus lactic acid resurfacing night serum I got the squalane vitamin C rose oil and the squalane, squalane omega repair cream so it's another like um, cream situation this is how they packaged it so I think Okay, so I think these are like like more of the mini sizes. So this is the lactic acid lactic acid resurfacing night cream, night serum, sorry. And then the oil is also in a mini here, but I think this is a full size or it's a decent size, I think. The omega repair cream. So this is like a good regular size rather than instead of it being all sample sizes this is a good pot of cream so this will do you know Now for the haul, the first thing I picked up was this like deep, dark chocolate brown leather jacket. Now I think the rule now is if I see a leather jacket in my size, buy it because yeah, the numbers, the numbers are growing up. However, I didn't have a dark brown leather jacket. We can say that, right? <laughs> what I really liked is this is fully lined. It's nice and um, soft inside and it is removable. There's a zip in here to take this completely out. Um, but I just really liked the idea that I could wear it for a longer time in the fall, which is why I picked it up. It's nice and warm. And uh, you know, I can still get some good uses out of it before it gets extremely cold. I don't know how long I'll be able to wear it, but for right now, even if it gets windy, this will be great. So. Yeah, the rule is, you know, pick up everything in leather apparently. So <laughs> this is the first um, 
piece. I can see here that it had a belt at some point. I the belt isn't in, I didn't find the belt with it, but that's fine. I would have, you know, worn it loose anyway. And the next thing I found is this like tunic, is that what you call it? Tunic style um knit dress. It has a nice long hole in the armpit right here, but this is just a regular little throw on for fall. I can just throw it on with a turtleneck, I thought, and this would be just a nice relaxed um, fit in replacement of a knit dress. This is just gonna be a cute little twofer. I can always change out the turtleneck and it will give it a different look over time. So this is the one I got. Now this is by Paper Crane. I remember Paper Crane. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that's where this is. Where was the jacket from? So this jacket was by Avant Garde. I forgot to say where the jacket was from, but yeah. So it's from Avant Garde. The next rule, apparently, is if I see a suit in my size, buy it. Even if it's red, where it seems like all I'm buying these days is red. I guess I've gotten over my um, red hump, but anyhow, this is the suit. <laughs> I just loved the two-tone lapels. I like the little um, black on the pocket area here. I just like the little color blocking. The print is like this like scalloped detail going through. I thought at far, from afar it was chevron, but it's just this nice little feminine like scalloped detail on a diagonal. So I thought that was really unique. So that's the top and this is the skirt. It is a decent length, but I think for these vintage ones to make them look a little more modern, it just works better when the skirts are shorter. But yeah, so this is by the brand, is it Leanto or Lent, Lento? Lento. <laughs> but it's by this brand, Leanto. Um, so this actually, I came home, I tried it on, it fits really well, so I'm happy for that. But yeah, we're doing red, like, it's a thing now. Red is a thing now. The next item I got is a sweater. This is a cable knit sweater. It has a really wide neck. I didn't try it on yet, so I'm not sure exactly. I love a mock neck, so when I saw this, I'm like, okay, but it's really wide. But I think it will work. I was really looking for lighter colored sweaters. It's just so much better to pair with stuff, so I just decided to grab this. This is by Proof Apparel. So I think it's just a boutique brand. It's just a nice, light colored sweater for the, for the season at least. Next thing I found was this pair of pants. I've just been looking for, you know, pants outside of jeans. I wear a lot of jeans. As it's getting colder, I like when I have pants, I put some leggings under them or some tights under them. And that helps keep my war my legs warm without feeling too bulky as it starts getting cold. So I found this one. This is by Nautica. Right here. Just a nice navy blue pants that I wanted to do with like sweaters and stuff for fall. Just nice and relaxed. I forgot I had this. <laughs> so the last thing is I'm like, why did I pick up a sweatshirt? I don't tend to pick up sweatshirts, but this is why it's a nice <laughs> vintage bejeweled sweatshirt. And that makes all the difference. This is by Claudia Barnes Sport. So it is by this little brand. Not that you needed that to be able to tell that it's a vintage sweatshirt. I'm like, why? I don't remember picking up a sweatshirt. What the heck is this? Oh, that's why. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's my final item. I will do a try on for you guys just to see how everything um, looks and, you know, style them up a little bit for you. So this is a cable knit sweater and this is what that oversized neck looked like. It had me worried for a little bit, but it does look, <laughs> it doesn't look too like overdone. I was, I was hoping that it wouldn't be like this break around my neck where my Neck is like falling in like a turtle, but this is what that neck looks like. And then I just paired it with the blue pants that I got and just a nice relaxed feeling for um, both the pants and 
the sweater now in order to make you know this is almost like work wears to make it look really relaxed and non work wear esque i think pairing it with an oversized sweater like this really works um for that look and and on my feet i just put on these colored store like western boots just to make it up make it even more casual and this is how i'd wear these for bang i'm still loving my celine crossbody and because it's blue it's so wearable because i wear denim all the time and i'm in blue a lot so this makes so much sense if i'm just looking to be like hands-free this would definitely be the bag that i go for of course a suit is going to be at the top of my list for favorites and this is what the suit looks like i first of all i just popped one of the buttons off it's okay I can put it back on um, but I've also added one of my vintage belts I have pinned it here it's much more of a low V but typically for for suits I prefer to have them just with a little um, just with a little neck showing I don't really like the plunging um, suits so I definitely pin it up here as I've worn it so this is what this suit looks like I put it on with my over the knee boots so this is the fit on this one and uh, I just think adding this belt just makes it uh, so much more over the top if it wasn't over the top already this is the current length of the skirt but I think because it's vintage it would need to go up a little more to look a bit more modern let me know in the comment section if you agree I know not everyone does a mini skirt but I think because you know it's a long sleeve very covered up um, top I think I can get away with just doing a shorter mini skirt so um, I think this is a better length for the skirt so let me know in the comment section do you prefer the original length or do you like this length because I, I don't know, in terms of the proportions, I just think this length works better for this. But let me know in the comment section what do you think. It feels really good in terms of the structure. The skirt is so well made. I love these skirts where I can walk around and not worry about it like clinging and riding up. Um, the material of this is a very thick wool as well. I should have looked at it before. I put it on but <laughs> I just love the pattern I love the feel of it uh, for bag I just have this uh, Lady Dior mini dupe um, so I think this would go nicely with this just as a nice little mini bag for the night um, but yeah probably take this thing off first whenever I buy these little dupes I want to make sure that it's something that I like and I'm not just gravitating to it because I'm seeing so many of it so so far I'm liking the idea of the Lady Dior um, especially in the mini so we'll see I'm playing around with this to see how much I use it and if I actually think that I'd wear it before I make the splurge but <laughs> for right now I just have this little dupe and I think overall this is the look I decided to go gray on gray with this look so I've just paired the tunic with a gray turtleneck and this is pretty much how I like to do my turtlenecks I don't tend to roll them I just leave them relaxed like this um, they irritate me less when I just leave them to droop as they feel like as opposed to rolling it it, it just irritates me more when I roll it I don't know if anyone experienced that but that's just how i have to wear my <laughs> turtlenecks but anyhow so i've paired it with another of my fabulous vintage belts that i just love um and i've paired it also with a little knee-high boots these are by kate spades for from forever <laughs> so this is what i have done for this so it's like i'm getting a knit dress but with a little more to look at but so it's still giving a knit dress effect but with a little more interest I think and I've just grabbed back that um, Dior dupe because I think just a cute little bag with this would also be really cute to wear 
And so it's just gray with the black accessories and the black accessories have gold hardware. And it's just keeping it very simple, but still very interesting. So I, I don't know, this might be one of my favorites. This is very surprising. It's a lot of um, very casual looks today, but I, I don't know. This is, this is way up there for me. I really like this little look. Let me know what you think in the comments below. <laughs> so for my last look, it is my vintage sweatshirt. Now I have paired it with these vintage Lee knee length skirt. They're too big for me. It's okay. I still wear it. So <laughs> I have paired it with the Kate Spade boots. Again, I just think, I just think this is a nice fall, winter appropriate outfit on, you know, nicer, sunnier days. This will work really, really well. So I just love um, just wearing this nice and baggy. This is what the sleeves look like long. They're really pretty long. So I'd probably keep them here or just put them all the way up so they don't fall down. But I like the effect that this is giving me. It's like this waterfall kind of shoulder um, with the interest here. I think it just works really well like this. It doesn't have shoulder pads. That's just my square shoulder doing its thing. <laughs> but I just love how this looks as well. So this is the final look. So quite a bit of casual everyday style for this haul but that's what we wear most of the time anyway so i'll have you know an outfit for every day of the week and not have to worry about what am i wearing next it's just grab and go which is perfect so this is my vintage sweatshirt and i love it <laughs> So guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section what look was your favorite, what piece was your favorite. As well, if you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love for you to join the family by subscribing. And don't forget to hit the like button if you did like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.